Well, today we continue our behind-the-scenes look at some of our favorite CBS shows. Yesterday we went one-on-one -on -one with Orlando's Wayne Brady, the star of Let's Make a Deal. Today we hear more from Wayne. We also talked to the show's executive producer, as well as another familiar face from the show who has a big Central Florida connection. It was a soapbox car. You see this every day right here on News 6. But here's what you don't see. Have fun. That's why we're here. We always say we're the biggest party in daytime. That party starts with about 150 creatively costumed audience members. Just check out the monitors above the doors. They'll be on for most of the show. Greeted by executive producer Chris Ahern. Please do not watch yourselves in the monitors, OK? You're already dressed as a giant taco. There's nothing you can do. Uh, <laughs> You will see Wayne walk out to stage. When you see him, please don't stand up because we're not on camera yet. It's not until you hear our announcer, Jonathan Mangum, say Wayne Brady. That's when you leap to your feet. Wayne Brady! What's up, America? Welcome to Let's Make a Deal. Wayne Brady here. From there. It's rapid. So we tape 175 episodes uh, a season. So you're a cowgirl with handcuffs. Yes. That's three episodes a day, four days a week for 15 weeks. Behind the scenes, this crew moves fast, seamlessly running props and games onto the main stage. What's been interesting to watch over the 10 years is that our entire staff has become an improv genius. Um, our prop department, when Wayne is improv something and he's talking about singing a song on the beach in Mexico. Looking for a cowgirl, right here is where you belong. Our prop department will get a sombrero and a guitar and they will run it out here as fast as possible. Everyone can improv on this show now and that's because of Wayne and Jonathan. Did you put your Speedo on this morning? No, but I do have Jello. <laughs> this show's different. I'm an actor and a singer and, and an improviser, and I brought Jonathan, my buddy, who Jonathan, used to work I'll at SAC Theater in Orlando with me. We one. do all these different yeah. things to create this variety show atmosphere that you can't get anywhere else. And I think that that is uh, something that no one else has been able to tap into, and I'm so proud. I'm so proud to be a part of this machinery. Wayne Brady may be the star of this show, but some big players have been around since day one. And then he got the game show. I've never announced anything in my life, uh, and it, but they, he said, I want my buddy Jonathan over there, so now I'm an announcer. Show me the technique up here. You may not know, Jonathan Mangum is a UCF grad. There is a tiny part that's scripted, and that is the description of the prizes. You know, when I say it's a car, and I say how, how the uh, miles per gallon, that's all written. But that's the only thing that's written. So everything else, we just, Wayne and I have been, you know, known each other for 20-something years now. So we... You've been bad. You've been bad. Stop! <laughs> just know how to talk to each other. And, and that is Afro yoga. How, how to set each other up for, for funny stuff. Tiffany plays the piano as well. Tiffany Coyne well, and Cat Gray <laughs> round out this ensemble, and it's easy to see really the crowd like loves this so group. It's important, you know, people don't, you, they don't holler on Jeopardy. You know what I mean? No one's screaming, ah, woo! So we, we like the, the energy, it helps, helps feed us. Let me hit you with my licorice. It's the best job to come to, because we honestly come here, have fun. Made with unicorn sugar. Laugh. I want to get the good freaky stuff in 360. <laughs> and we get to go home. That's, I mean, it's a perfect day. Just like New Six. That's exactly. right. <laughs> and you know what? My mind was blown when I found out that the only thing scripted that is the prize description, that they ad lib everything else and they improv everything else and they make it look so flawless. Like I was saying, like Bob from accounting can't come fill in no, for these no. guys. And you'll notice they no one ever fills in for them. Great chemistry, for yes. sure. Yeah. Yeah. And it's one thing to like improv and you're with yourself. Right, but it's in your you bathroom. Have, yeah, you have to <laughs> rely on your group to mm -hmm. actually pick that up. And he makes up songs on the fly yes. as they go. So yes. it's, it's really incredible. And then you never know what's going to happen with the contestants, what they're going to say and what right. they're going to do. It's they a great show. So talented Especially the way when you, they just when you're dressed as a giant them. taco. I mean, why not? Maybe wearing your bacon robe. <laughs> <laughs> I never understood that show until it was on right before our newscast, and so and yeah. we watched it every day. And now we're all in love with yeah, it. Yeah, now we're all experts on the show. Yeah.